Major story tonight, Rhode Island's budget crisis gets even worse as the governor submits a new round of proposed cutbacks. We first told you about it last night on Eyewitness News at 6. The plan would involve eliminating nearly $100 million in aid to cities and towns, including about $21 million that was set aside for schools. It's all in an attempt to wipe out a growing budget shortfall. It's currently estimated at about $220 million, and the cuts could affect just about everyone in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live now from the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Yes, here we go again. So much so that this is now becoming the new normal in Rhode Island state government, making do with less, much less. I'll talk later. Governor Don Kachiri walked into the state room at the state house today with more grim news. The state is short another $220 million for the current fiscal year. To close the shortfall, the governor wants to cut $85 million from state aid to cities and towns and to cut cost of living increases for state workers who retire in the future. It's easy to say we're going to have 39 cities and towns doing business in exactly the same way they've been doing it for hundreds of years. And when are going to change that? Then guess what? Then as taxpayers in those cities and towns will pay. The governor says it's time for Rhode Island's 39 cities and towns to reopen union contracts and cut less expensive deals with teachers and municipal workers. Either that or raise property taxes. What I'm saying is we don't have the money. And, and we've got to adjust the spending for the 39 cities and towns. We've got to reset it. We cannot afford the level of spending that's going on. The cuts will hurt cities and towns hard. You're talking about all of that more. You're talking about uh, partial shutdowns of municipal government, maybe one day a week, maybe one day every other week. You're talking about the elimination of certain services. Rhode Island schools are bracing for the latest cuts in state aid. Stay with us for thoughts from the state education commissioner, new at 6. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.